You know one of those days when a thought enters and doesn't leave, making you feel troubled, clouding your mind, just hampering your mood, your day. Maybe you had an argument with someone. Maybe it's about a bad decision you took. Maybe it's the uncertainty of the future. Or worse, a combination of it all. Times like these leave me feeling stressed for a longer time than I expect. And that one thing disturbs all of my other tasks. So, over time I found a process that has helped me significantly. And most times I was able to get myself out of that issue. So today I thought of sharing this with you too. When I am in a bad mood, I just want to be in that zone. And I am usually in this stage for the first few hours. I guess it's the same with a lot of people. When you want to just feel what you are feeling. And that's totally okay. But when some time has passed and you don't want to be upset or angry or tense because you understand that it's just harming you and nobody else, we enter level zero. It's all about getting in the mindset that I want to get over it. It's not doing any good to me. It's not worth my time or energy. Getting to this level is important because without this understanding, all the other steps will be superficial and futile. Sometimes the issue that's bothering us is not really that serious, but our brain tends to hype it up. So how do we know? To understand this, I try to take my mind away from the thought. I do something that distracts me. Play a game, listen to music, watch my favorite YouTubers or a movie. And after a while, if the issue has stopped bothering you or has lost its impact, you'll know it was a level 1 problem and you have gotten over it. I distracted myself for a while, but I still couldn't stop thinking about the issue. Happens, right? This is when I try talking my heart out to someone close and trusted. I mentioned that this step is optional because not everybody might be comfortable sharing things with others. Some people might have trust issues or You may be an introvert, but if you feel like you can, try expressing what happened and why it troubled you. In most cases, I immediately feel my heart and mind going lighter. This stage is for cases when you couldn't express things to somebody or you did, but feel it didn't ease your troubled mind for long. So I take a pen and my diary and start venting out everything on my mind. There is no specific order or style for this. Just write down everything honestly without any filters or judgement. This frees up so much that's going on in my mind. When we think Our thoughts come rushed from all directions, making us feel overwhelmed. But when we write, our thoughts start following the slower pace of our pen. This makes writing down our feelings more helpful in calming down the mind and understanding the situation better. One 
वन सिटिंग ऑफ राइटिंग योर थाट्स डाउन यूजली मेक्स थिंग्स क्लियर बट देर आर सम इशूज दैट अफेक्ट इज डीपली एंड नो मैटर हाउ मच वी वेंट और आर्टिकुलेट द इंसिडेंट इट कंटिन्यूज टू बॉर्डर अस इन दीज केसेस I usually find myself asking a lot of whys. Level 4 is about getting deeper, looking into the hidden cause rather than just the surface level effect. So, I take my pen and notebook again. This time not to vent, but to ask some uncomfortable questions. For something to affect me for so long, it has to have a hidden cause. it could be from my past or childhood experiences an insecurity that i don't like to face or probably an image that i'm trying to save introspection is really the key here keep asking wise for every answer you give to those uncomfortable questions and this might help you to get to the real cause of your hurt or bother When I get to understand the true reason behind my troubled mind, I am able to get closure with the help of the final step. Letting go isn't about losing control, but taking control. When you get a deeper understanding of the cause, you are in the state of taking control of your thoughts and emotions. I try to assess if there's something I can do internally or externally to make things better. Any change starts with us and our mindset. When I'm in a situation where things are not in my control, I try to take that realization into account and let go of my worries. Let go of that person, that incident, that decision, that hypothetical thought things will happen the way they are supposed to happen and amidst all the chaos they will fall in place not every situation needs us to go through all the levels some problems can be solved just by step 1 while deeper issues may require you to go to level 5 Finally, these steps will only work if you want them to work for you. The mindset has to be to come out of it, to let these measures help you clear your mind. As I mentioned in the start, there are times when we want to stay in a particular zone and just brood over things. So let that phase pass and then try out these steps. I really hope you found these steps helpful and you give them a try whenever you feel troubled. I would love to know about your experiences in the comment section. If you resonated with this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.